don't know. Today, me gonna teach you to make zero servers. Hello everyone, it is me, Ness again. Today we are gonna do something simple, um, not really, but still, we're gonna make a um, storage server for storage yeet. So basically, I got those two computers right here that I'm using as um, multimedia storage and those computers are connected to the network um, via Wi-Fi. And those computers, I can access them right here. It's literally the computer, the two ones that I'm using. I got two um, shortcuts here. And when I click this one, this one is the one on the top. I think, uh, let me see. Mm. It can take a bit of time because uh, why not? Oh, there we go. This one is um, the one on the top, and the other one, NE3S HA2, is uh, the one on the, on the bottom. So, yeah, I'm, I'm using those two computers for multimedia storage and stuff. And today I might, I might be thinking of learning you how to do this. So we're gonna take um, the main computer, my my computer right here, as the as the computer tutorial computer for this video. So let's jump in. So there it is. We are right now in my computer and. Uh, the sleeper computer as you can see and the thing that I'm gonna do right now is just go here create another full a new folder and I'm gonna call this folder um, it's not it's not necessarily but if you want to um, if you want a clean um, clean 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 um, server or storage server without the entire screen being filled with documents um, I'll do this and I'm gonna call this folder sh shared files like this so this file right now is not connected to the internet or the, the, the Wi-Fi whatever the, so the thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click this properties and this is the read only only applies to fo file in, in folder I'm gonna do this remove the read only then into sharing option there is on the network pad that it will be said that it's not shared first we're gonna do this we're gonna select everyone here into this bar and then um, we're gonna add and then we're gonna share there we go now I got the double backslash nest sleeper backslash user whatever and now it's shared now for events of sharing I'm gonna just do share this folder, share name, share files, and uh, I'm gonna just put down to five because we're a maximum of five in in this house. So right now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to here, everyone. Um, I'm gonna do it only read and change, but not full control. Because or else they will be able to erase everything on the computer or folder, whatever. So we're gonna apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. And close. And there is one more thing that I wanted to do before accessing the file. I'm gonna go to the control panel right here. And then 
I'm just gonna go to system and security windows firewall and I'm gonna just turn off those because or else each time a computer wants a new computer wants to connect to the file it's gonna ask for a firewall permission so there we go now it's closed so now we can access this folder via our computer in this example I'm gonna use the yeah I'm gonna use the IBM ThinkPad and it's a T4 no T61 the the, the T series version so yeah I'm gonna go to this computer and now we're gonna go to the IBM right here so after this you are gonna we are on the IBM ThinkPad right here and the thing is you'll have to go into network here and then click the computer the computer name that you wanted to go in um, the thing is it will ask you for a password and this password is not the this computer's password is the um, server password but the thing is if you're having a new windows and in, installed into your computer that you're using for servers and stuff and that you're not putting any password it will be okay it, it won't ask for the password i think but there it is um you just have to type your name <coughs> of this computer then you can click on it and yeah that's pretty much it so it's yeah that's it so see you next time and uh, have fun with your new storage server remember to like and subscribe if you 